Thomas Day readily admits his hobby has become an obsession. It's the reason he moved his family to an isolated hilltop. It's the reason he guides his telescope across the heavens in freezing temperatures on clear winter nights. Ever since I was a child, I was interested in the night sky and the stars, mainly because of the wonder of looking up and realizing that those little points of light are other suns, millions, thousands, hundreds of light years away. Day spends much of his spare time trying to capture that sense of the universe on film. Working under red safe lights or sometimes in total darkness, he adjusts his enlarger for the right effect. We're so accustomed to overdosing our senses on loud music, bright movies, uh, that the subtle, I think, is becoming a lost art. And astronomy is a rather subtle pursuit. When captured on film, however, the night sky can be spectacular indeed. Planets shine like diamonds and faraway galaxies glisten like distant beacons. But sometimes, he says, the surprises in the telescope are closer to home. And as I gazed on the distant stars, I saw these huge crab-like legs begin to migrate across the field of view in perfect focus. And uh, I was momentarily scared and looked up at the sky. And then, of course, I pulled my eyepiece out and found a spider in it. <laughs> Haley's Comet may not be as impressive as a giant space spider, but it is the celebrity of the hour. Often it takes long trial and error before a good print is produced. These stars, at least, don't complain about another photo session. David Burns, New Center 13.